What if you could save tens of thousands of dollars by making a few painless tweaks to your family finances? When we offered savings makeovers with our fabulous consumer correspondent, Elizabeth Leamy, hundreds of you responded by writing into our website, and Eli found $47,000 in savings for the first family she made over, not bad, using strategies from her new book. It's called Save Big. And we want to know, can she top that with savings makeover number two? And something tells me, Eli, yes and more. Oh, yeah. yeah. I topped it all right. There are 110 strategies in my book for saving big money on your most common expenses. And I use just six of those strategies to help the Strickland family of Virginia save big. They're all easy to do. And wait till you see the grand total. Meet the Strickland family of Purcellville, Virginia. Come here, come here. Mike and Kim love their life, but their expenses are high. Why? Because they have seven kids. That many more children to try to send through college. So you have to be smart about the way you spend your money. I noticed the Stricklands were paying nearly $600 a month for six cell phones. So I asked FixMyCellBill.com to find a better plan for them. Fittingly, the company broke the good news by phone to teenage daughter Elizabeth, the biggest talker and texter in the family. $29. We suspect that you can save an additional $240 a year by lowering your minute plan again. Oh, wow. The Stricklands no longer have credit card debt, so they should be taking advantage of rewards cards that give you money when you spend money. So I recommended a cash back card that pays as much as 5% of purchases. The total savings by switching to cash back credit cards, $1,599. Sounds great. Okay. <laughs> Before to take you out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Food for this big family costs about $300 a week, 15000 a year. Kim shops at a super Target that carries groceries, but she didn't realize that Target just started offering price matching. All you do is find the best sale items in all the competing store circulars, and Target will honor them. Are you willing to put in just a little bit of extra work in order to save as much as 40%, $6,000 on your groceries? I think that once you realize the amount that you can save, you can come to terms with the little bit of work that it's going to take. Mike is a veterinarian, so the Stricklands have always purchased group health insurance through his work, lately for about $12,000 a year. But believe it or not, it's sometimes cheaper for healthy people to buy individual plans. So I arranged for Donna Alcorn of Rust Insurance, an independent, trusted choice agency, to shop around at multiple companies for the Stricklands. The annual savings by changing carriers is $6,756. Wow. for the year. The Strickland's mortgage rate is 5.65%. Not bad, but I found them a yeah. new loan at 5%. Mike and Kim will save a total of $24,808 by refinancing. That's big, but if they roll some of those savings into paying extra toward their mortgage principal to avoid mortgage interest, they can save even bigger, $148,620 over the next 12 years. Oh, nice one. It's going to take diligence to do it, but having advice on how to redirect our money has made a big difference. I shared some of the Strickland savings numbers with them, but not all. Mm -hmm. Your kids have something to show you. <laughs> so at last, it was time for the grand total. Big savings, $188,852. Oh my God. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. A big savings for a big family. <laughs> <laughs> and 16,000 of that savings is immediate and will repeat every year. And I only counted each strategy once, so that will really add up over time. The other 148,000 from prepaying their mortgage will take place over the next 12 years. Best of all, they don't have to change their lifestyle, and these are all yeah. easy to do. And you're going to do more of these makeovers? I will, and I hope to do some with people who actually have credit card debt to show that there is great hope for them as well. Mm, we need that. Smart you strategies. Lie. Thank you. Uh -huh. Great banner that you made, too. <laughs> <laughs> More on our website. We'll be right back. Thank you, Sam. We're going to get now into how to save thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars a year with a few simple strategies. 
Our consumer correspondent Elizabeth Leamy has written a book on the subject called Save Big, and hundreds of you have written in asking her how to make it work for your family. Well, Eli has taken on two families' bills already, saving the first family $47,000, the second a whopping $189,000, and she's back again today with assignment number three. Yes, I am, and you may remember, George, that I vowed here on GMA that next I would make over a family with a significant amount of debt. I wanted to show that even for people in that tough situation, there are smart moves you can make to get out from under the bills and save big. And it worked. Watch. Robin Showblock of New Jersey wrote to me out of real need. Her husband Gary had been laid off because of the recession, right after she quit her job to get a college degree at last. I need six rolls. All this for a family that expanded from four people to seven yep. a few years ago when Robin's sister died and the Showblocks took in her kids. I'm sure if you ask the kids, they'll tell you that there's been a lot of stress in the house. So I set out to reduce their stress and their bills. Oh! First, I shopped around for cable, phone, internet, and wireless providers and found them $3,448 in savings just by switching. And if you're a new customer, wow, what a deal. You can also shop around for medical procedures. Robin's doctor wants her to get a routine colonoscopy. We called 10 facilities near her house and found one that was $3,980 less than the rest. Wow, that's not necessarily good news because I don't want to get it. <laughs> Robin and her daughter Jill both just graduated from college, a huge accomplishment and huge debt. But Robin plans to become a teacher and didn't realize the government will forgive $17,500 worth of her student loans if she works in an underprivileged school. There are a lot of challenges and I think a lot of rewards. Next, I took the show blocks to their local credit union. McGraw-Hill Federal Credit Union has approved you to refinance your car loan at 7.5%. Uh, Most people have never even heard of refinancing a car loan. It will save the show blocks $1,995. Hi, Gary. Nice to meet you. Time to tackle the show blocks credit card debt. First, use their small savings, earning just 1% interest, to pay off the worst credit cards, costing as much as 30% interest. Second, open a new low-interest credit card at the credit union and roll the rest of their balances onto that. Their savings, a whopping $16,801 in interest. And you'll get those cards paid off in a grand total of only 11 months. With all the turmoil in their lives, the show block's normally solid credit score took a hit, so they couldn't get approved to refinance their house at a big bank. But credit unions go beyond people's scores and look at their situations. We've approved you for refinancing the balance into a 10-1 adjustable rate mortgage at a rate of 4.75 percent, zero discount point, Are zero origination fees. I kid you not. I kid you not. The savings is real. Adjustable rate mortgages got a bad rap during the bubble years, but they're a wise choice if you know you're going to sell before they adjust. The show blocks plan to downsize once all the kids go to college. The new mortgage will save them $55,203 over the next 10 years. I'm speechless. It's just so hard to come up with ways to thank you guys for your help. How much did we help? One, two, three. Yes, $108,602 in savings. And I also found the show blocks big savings on their groceries, their prescriptions, and a way for Jill or any college graduate to wipe out close to $5,000 of their student loans. You can get the nuts and bolts of those strategies on our website, abcnews.com, and of course the nitty gritty details about how to pull off all of these savings ideas are in my book. It is called Save Big. Thanks, Eli, uh -huh. very much. And that is our theme of the week, Saving Big. Could money that belongs to you be in this warehouse? $161 million inside this building alone, all money that most of the right owners don't even know they have. But in our new series, Show Me the Money, Elizabeth Leamy got inside and was there when one of the lucky ones was in for a big and happy surprise. Good morning, Eli. Hey, George. Yeah, we wanted to see what it 
feels like to be that person and also what it takes to successfully claim the money. So we tagged along with the West Virginia Treasurer's Office as they performed their version of the Prize Patrol. West Virginia Treasurer John Perdue is about to make somebody's day. That person is Vicki Shaluda of St. Albans, West Virginia. Vicki? Yeah. So how big is the big check he's holding? We'll show Vicki the money in a moment. But first, some background. I thought originally when I got the card from the bank, I thought this has to be wrong. Vicky's mom, Lenora Adkins, died in July of last year. She left behind dozens of handmade quilts warmed by her love. She used all kinds of different colors. And her secret recipe for making the most amazing fudge. You just stir it. That's right. That's all there is to it. Other than that, Lenora was penniless. Or so Vicky thought. So when I got a card from the bank saying that money um, had gone to unclaimed property, I was shocked because I didn't know anything else existed. These boxes hold claims like Vicky's. West Virginia processes more than 20,000 cases a year. And still, there are $161 million here waiting to be found. Lenora's mind had been lost to Alzheimer's and her money could easily have followed. Her bank had been bought out twice. All the account numbers had changed. But then a sharp-eyed BB&T banker named Cammy McCormick spotted a CD in Lenora's name and it had been sitting there growing. Then Cammy turned in to really a sleuth. She needed to do research. West Virginia requires banks to send unclaimed accounts to the treasurer's office after five to seven years for safekeeping. Vicki's paperwork landed on Joanne Tinsley's desk. We make sure everything matches before we hand it over to someone. You know, even if it's fifty dollars, do you want to give it to the wrong person? And Lenora's CD was a lot more than fifty dollars. At last, the state of West Virginia cut Vicki a check. It was one of the largest unclaimed property cases of the year. It's helping the West Virginians, uh, you know, return their money. Their money. It's not the state's money. West Virginia is one of the most efficient, aggressive states about reuniting people with their unclaimed money and property. And every now and then, Treasurer John Perdue the likes to do it in person. And today, uh, we have put this check together of $14,876.55. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Vicki, what are you planning to do with that money? I think they're thinking family vacation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I come along? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's like um, a gift from mom. That's exactly how I feel about it. It's a gift. So you see, even if you don't think you've left any of your own money lying around, it's a good idea to search to see if deceased family members have left money for you, and we will link you to a couple of websites where you can do that and research. This is pretty common. It certainly is. I mean, have you left a list of your assets somewhere that your heirs can find it if you die? I haven't, but I will now. Uh, Allie's going to make me now. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much, Eli.